Hello, and welcome back, finally, to Rain World. Well, we had the last episode that was left over since before my GPU died. But today, we're finally back on the new PC, and hopefully, hopefully back to, like, the normal schedule. I'm, I'm trying to be, at least. We'll see how things go. But let's play some Rain World, and let's hope that everything just works just fine. So, since last time, I was excited to try out that mod, and then the whole GPU crash happened, and I didn't really get to record any of it. But now, I have it working here, and I had some people explain that, like, the thing with the uh, snails, as they're called, the, like, pop bugs, there was a, a fix where, oh, they don't get stuck in pipes anymore, and I thought that meant that death I had, where I was, like, swimming into a pipe and, oh, there was a, a pop bug and it popped me and then I drowned. And I thought, well, you know, that's annoying, but that is, like, part of the game, right? But apparently that's not what it means. It means what happened to me in the drainage system. When I was all the way at the bottom in that waterfall screen with the leeches, apparently you're supposed to be able to dive into that left underwater tunnel that says it's a tunnel on the map, and I was super confused, and I had people speculate that that was probably due to a pop bug just being stuck in there, like literally stuck, couldn't get out, couldn't get in, it's just like that exit is now permanently inaccessible, at least for that cycle. So maybe if we go back there now, I actually would be able to do something, would be able to go left. So maybe we'll try that, because I also want to go back for something else. And then also that other one that I was concerned about with anti-snatch spears. Apparently that does not mean that those like little worm things won't be able to grab your spear anymore. Apparently that's just something entirely different and also probably more like a fix that doesn't affect the actual game. People were a little vague on it, which is good. Thank you very much. People pointed out like you can pretty safely use this mod. I don't think it will affect anything in the vanilla experience. Which is great for me, because if we just take a look here, I now have mod config here. You just install like Bep and X and install these mods. It was pretty straightforward for, for the most part. And now I can run the game at 120 FPS. You won't really notice that, I think. It probably won't even... I mean, maybe it will look slightly different because like, oh, I'm playing at 120 and now recording at 60 instead of playing at 60 and recording at 60. I don't know if it might have some sort of perceived difference for better or worse and then we also have the sharpener which is a different one many many more fixes is just unlocking the fps and those like fixes with the the pop bugs and stuff like that sharpener is just you can scale the pixel art much better so now i can play it in 1080p i was gonna do 1440p on this computer but a lot of issues with that so i just went back to 1080p i'm fine with that so we have 1080p and you can set the render mode you can even change this so like blurry if I apply this I mean it's hard to tell especially in the video I think these mods are mostly for me I don't think you'll really notice much of a difference when you account for like lossy recording editing rendering uploading to YouTube with compression things like that so it might not look all that different but it'll be great for me so I'm gonna be happy about it at least and hopefully it at least looks a little sharper so this is the default sharper oh that was a, an annoying flash it's just a little little sharper everything looks more pixely which looks better to me and then native resolution is just like even more sharp but you can tell it it kind of crusts up some stuff like it forces certain pixels even when they don't make sense and stuff and apparently causes some uh, some artifacts and stuff so people uh, the the creator didn't recommend using this so I'll use Sharper, and I figure, to start this off, after this horrendously long intro, we'll just jump back into Arena, and we'll just jump back into the same level, Water Reactor, because it looks pretty, and we can also practice some of the, the spider, shock spider thing, or uh, not spider, centipede. So let's just jump in, and I figure we can get, like, a direct comparison. If you go back and check the previous training montage, if you can notice, I'm gonna do the same, if we can notice any quality difference here with this screen and the movement and all of that. So uh, let's remove this one. 
And let's grab grab us a big spider uh, centipede. And we'll just go with that. We have one spear and wait, hold on. I don't want to like necessarily be spawning up here. Uh, do I want to be spawning like over here? Or I guess just leave it up to fate. Let's just have it be random. And let's just like see what they actually do. Because I've only seen these guys like twice and I don't know how they work. Really? They kind of grab you and shock you. And I don't know how easy they are to kill or anything. So let's just do a bit of training montage to... Oh, they looked small for a second. Training montaging. Oh god, they're, they're awful. They're so creepy looking when they like skitter around really fast and then stop and then really fast and then stop. I hate that. I don't know what he's doing now. Coming up here. So let's just see then. If I like do this. Now he's seen me, I think. Yeah, he's like chasing me. And then he grabs me, shocks me, and you're instantly dead. Okay. You just get shocked and dead. All right. So the small ones just stun you, but the big ones have lethal currents. Two! Only two! Two normal spears. Those, those weren't even slide spears. Okay, that's good to know. And then, can we like eat him? Huh? Did I eat him? Oh, no! Uh, get over here. Come on. Seems very heavy. Can I, like, grab him and, yeah, take him up here? Okay, what happens? I'm eating? No? I don't think I'm eating. Am I eating? I mean, it's hard to tell in arena mode because you don't see, like, your score, I guess. I guess we can go into hibernation and see if I've gotten more score. I guess maybe I can't. Maybe it's like only the hunter can eat these guys. Because I imagine the hunter can probably eat, like, crocodiles and stuff as well. Maybe bully bugs and all of that. Because he's a pure carnivore. So I guess I can't eat these big ones. So there's kind of no point killing them, but they aren't too bad to to fight at least, given you have enough room and you have a spear and all that. Yeah, so I killed one thing, but I got no stars. So if we play again and I actually like eat a uh, a bat, that should give me one star, right? Like that's a point. You want to come in here? I'm just going to try a uh, slide attack. I don't think he's, like, seen me yet. Oh? Yeah, I think they can hear. That's interesting. So that was a slide one, and it's running. Is it going to, like, run all the way out? Yeah, it just disappears. Same as the, the crocodiles. They retreat and just peace out. So I guess that's kind of fine. And is that the same if I just do a normal spear, no slide? Because I don't exactly know how the slide works, if it, like, does more damage or anything. Because, yeah, apparently it could, like, pierce certain defenses, but I couldn't really tell if it did that. So if I just do that, does he try to go for me? No, like, even if I get in his face, if I've used a spear on him, if I pierced him once... Hold on, let's, uh, let's grab a uh, bat. There, and then we just hibernate. I should have one star, right? No? Then what star? Maybe it's, like enough to hibernate or whatever, so you need to do at least four? 
I'm not entirely sure what stars are, or maybe they're player kills or something. I thought the score was determined by, uh, uh oh, by how much you've eaten. So yeah, if I just do this, and like he grabs me, and then I throw the spear. Nope, too late. Uh, one more try. Just grab this. Oh. So I've done that. I'm in his face. Like, I can even... Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. I was grabbing him, and then even though he's retreating, right? Like, he's gonna go into hibernation to rest up. Yeah. If you grab him, he's like, fine, you wanna pick a fight, and then kills you. Alright. That's good to know. Yeah, we're, we're learning some stuff. Oh, yeah, just like the the sharpness and the uh, smoothness, the 120 FPS feels really good. I haven't noticed any like weird inputs or anything like that, where everything feels... Oh, didn't mean to throw it back. Everything feels really good. There's nothing like wonky going on with inputs or whatnot. Wait, he's trying to go for me? What? What are you doing? He's... What? Okay, he, he... That was very strange. I thought he was, like, my my pet for a second. That he respected me and became my friend because I stabbed him. That wouldn't really make any sense. Okay, they're kind of weird. And the slide, slide spear doesn't seem to really matter, but two spears is not that bad. Seems relatively simple to take down. Assuming you just have some, like, space to deal with them. So yeah, like, if he grabs me, can I throw... ...quick enough? I think I threw a rock the second time, so yeah. Even if you get grabbed, if you're really quick and you have a spear, you can just, like, throw it and then grab it and throw it, and... Yeah, they're pretty easy to kill. And we can't, like, dissect it with a spear, can we? Don't think so. And again, try and eat. It's like I'm trying to eat it, but I guess it's too tough. So I can't, or something like that. Yeah, I think so. I think I also, like, noticed... What was it? I, I learned something while practicing and just playing around. Where, like... What was it? I, I, like, popped out of a tunnel or something? Yeah, like that. If you go through a tunnel and you time, like, an A press or a jump press, right when you go through a tunnel, you can actually, like, leap out of it. So you don't just, like, crawl out like this. This is very slow. And you can't just hold it, right? Oh, you can't just hold it. Oh, that's, that's really useful. No? Wait. Holding? Huh? How, how could I do that last time? I can there. Okay, I kind of can. You just can't hold, like, to the right. If I hold right and jump now... No, that was still fast. What? Okay, I'm a little confused. Because if I just hold right, no jump key... Then, then that happens. Yeah, and it's, like, super slow. So you want to be holding jump as you get out of these tunnels. But then you can, like, just start running. Yeah. But you have to, like, make sure you don't land on all fours and start crawling, because it's really slow. But, yeah, that's also a neat little trick. Alright, so we won't have too much time, like, in the actual game, but hopefully we can do a little bit of stuff, and hopefully no issues with the recording or things looking wonky. Cycle 50, so let's go. And I'm not gonna go in through to the left, if, if I even could. I honestly... Do I have anything in my stomach? That's the uh, the eyeball thing, yeah. Or whatever, the mechanical whatnot. I don't want to go through here quite yet. Let's go down. And we'll see if I can survive going all the way back this way. Because I figured there were quite a lot of bully bugs on the way here. And I want to try that to get one of those... Uh, 
Uh, can I take another one of these? Yeah, you can have two. Dual wield firecrackers. To get that sandbox item. Because if we can just get that, we can get out and, like, even if I die, I'll just have it. That would just be nice to, to unlock. So let's see if we can... Oh god, am I dead? No? There was a lot of leeches all of a sudden. Oh, and a bird. Yeah, hello. I'm just gonna keep swimming and hope for the best. I could throw my firecracker, but hopefully I won't need to. Did it scare him off? Not really. I don't know what's happening. Is he dead? Am I killing him? I don't think he's dead. I got his mask. So screw you, guy. Is he dying? I'm gonna try and get the spear. Yeah. I mean, he seems to not be able to fly or whatever. I guess maybe I, like, pierce his wings? So he's... He's not dead, but he can't really move very well. So I guess that's fine. Oh, are these guys going to be scared of me now? No? They're fine. Should we try and trade the mask at the, uh... The trader? Because I don't know if I want this mask, honestly. I mean, maybe I should have it, but... Let's see if they want masks. If they're, like, valuable. You want this? Yeah, he wants it. He likes that. Nice. Okay. Wait, what did he drop? What's this on the ground? What is that? Whoa. He gave me something else. What's this? Okay, he took that as me giving him the thing. I don't know what, what this is. Should I just throw it? Oh, it was like a smoke bomb. Oh. Yeah, okay. I thought I accidentally stole his spear. Well, I don't know what that was, but yeah, I think that trade was worth it. Like, just to test that out and see what was going on. Probably gonna get this. Oh, no. The spear is stolen in, like, two seconds. Maybe I should just give it to one of these guys. Oh, you can go through here? I didn't even realize. Thanks, guy. I want a bird to pick a fight with me now. That would be really nice. Wait, are these guys following me? Did I, like, earn their respect? No? Okay, here's a bully bug. I want this guy. Uh-oh. Uh, didn't really mean to do that. I should just let it go. Oh, no. Bully bug, come back. I really want a bully bug. Here's one. Yeah, okay. Got him. So now we gotta go all the way back. Just hope that I can. I assume, like, this guy can keep me up and fight the leeches. So you can probably take even more leeches than normal when you have one of these guys in your hands. I would hope, anyway. Are, the, are you running from something? What's happening? Everyone's, like, looking to the left, like something is there. I mean, maybe the, the bird is still there. So we gotta go all the way... Oh! Oh no, he's not carrying his weight right now, guy. And I can very slowly climb up with this guy. Oh man, stop being a dead weight. Help me out a little bit. 
I guess maybe I should put him down and pick him back up again. To, like, recharge him a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Just give him a sliver of hope and then take it away again. That's how you deal with him. Sorry, traitor. I didn't mean to do this. If I can just make it there and get the thing before the end of this cycle, I will be happy. Not too many leeches here. And a couple here. We can probably just fish these up. Yeah? That should be fine. We can probably go now. Hopefully- wait, can I even swim with this guy? Oh no, I don't think I can. Maybe if he, like, stops fighting? Is this not what you do? Can I stun him? Get stunned by one of these. No! What are you doing? He killed my- my ride! Aw, oh, man! And I'm, like, drowning? Wow! You asshole! I think he thought he was, like, protecting me or something, but I had it under control! I wanted that guy! Whoa! Oh, the guide. Okay. Where'd the- the thing go? Did the leeches get him? I think he's, like, at the bottom of the, uh, the sewage. Well, so that didn't work out. Yeah, I, I didn't seem like I could take the bully bug through here, so I guess in that case you would have to take the bully bug all the way through the right side, which... Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Maybe I should, though. I probably should. Oh, man. I really wish this method worked. But as soon as it pops, the thing is just gone, so it seems like you're not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah. Oh, no! I just stole, I think. Did I just steal a spear? Oh, hello. Take that. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I was trying to grab the spear, but I grabbed the pop bug instead. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I was actually dead. Yeah, you saw the, like, X eyes, and there you got, like, yeah, someone explained that as well. You get, like, a second death ping. A third death ping. I'm really dead now. We get a fourth death ping. I'm quadruple dead right now. Yep. It just keeps happening. But yeah, so I guess, like, if my eyes weren't crossed out, when the pop bug made him drop me, I would have been able to escape, potentially. So, like, that's that's a thing. I mean, let's see what happens, but even if one of those lanky spiders would, like, stop him, I, I think I'm just dead. I can't get saved from this. Oh, fight him. Do something. Save me. Nope. He's just like, okay, better you than me. Oh man, wish I could climb like this. And there's bully bugs here, yeah? So if we could get here, maybe we could just get a bully bug and go to the left. So I should probably try that, it's just this this area is very scary. Maybe I've just been really, nope, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe I've just been really unlucky and like always getting these spiders here, but no. It kind of seems like they're almost, oh. Can you please not? What are you doing? They're almost always here, at least one. I guess he wants to go right, but he can't really go through, go past the spider, because he knows what's good for him. He's trying it, though. Yep, there you go. No, no, no! Spider, come on! Go back in. 
Come on, lizard, you can do it. Go back in. He's shaking in fear. Oh god, please, stop! Yeah, grab him, come on! Spider versus chameleon, let's go! I put big money on you, spider, don't let me down. I don't know what to call these things either. Oh, leeches? Pick a fight with them, too. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna end this for all of our safety and sanity. It, it's too much. Well, now I definitely can't go through the gate to the left, so we're definitely doing that next time again. Just going to the right, we'll loop around the right side instead, see if we can get a bully bug past there. I mean, I guess I'll just keep throwing lives away, because getting those sandbox things would be really nice, just... They are, like, the persistent unlocks in the game, so I guess you really want to try and get them when you see them. Really disappointed you can't do the, like, pop bug jump, because that that would be really cool, and if that unlock is pop bugs, that would make a lot of sense to do that. But anyway, this dragged on for longer than I kind of wanted from the first episode back, because I don't exactly know how everything's going to look, but I've already done a Talos Principle test recording, and it seemed okay enough, maybe. I, I don't know, there's probably issues, but thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I'm just back to the normal, normalcy at this point. We'll see. Bye-bye!